Hi kiddos. Today is Wednesday, April the 8th. Sunday is April 12th. Sunday is Easter. April 9th, 10th, 11, 12. One, two, three, four. It is four days till Easter. So today we are going to learn how to draw a bunny. You need paper and crayons. And we're gonna draw the bunny with our black crayon. And then we will color him in after we draw him. So here is my paper. Here's my black crayon. And we're gonna start by drawing a hill. So start down, not all the way in the corner, but closer to the corner of the paper and make a hill. Got it? Not a little hill, not a mountain, just a hill. Next, we're going to do the bunny's ears. The ears are like two round ovals. So here, I'm gonna do one big ear all the way up into the corner of my paper. And I'm gonna do another ear on the other side, all the way up towards the corner of my paper. Next, I'm gonna do that same shape, but smaller inside the ear. That's where the bunnies hear. That's the pink part of their ear. Next, we're gonna do some eyes. So we're gonna do eyes a little bit different today for our bunny than we're used to. I'm gonna start by making, almost looks like, two sad faces. And then I'm going to put that same shape for the eye. Now, where do you want your bunny looking? If you want him looking straight ahead, then the inside of his eyes are right in the middle. If you want him looking this way, then your eyes are at the corners. Decide where you want your bunny to be looking. I'm gonna have my bunny look right at you. Okay, next we'll do his nose. His nose, we're gonna do a triangle, just a regular triangle for his nose. And we'll give him his bunny whiskers. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we're gonna give him that little bunny mouth, which is almost like a W. And there's your bunny. Now I would take my crayons and I would color in his nose, his ears, and maybe the whole bunny too. Also, you can take some of this white space and decorate around the white space by making carrots. So here's what Miss Jill's carrots look like. I'm gonna take my orange crayon and I'm going to do an upside down triangle. So the long line is on the top and the point to the points towards the bottom. And then I'll take my green Carrots have leaves. Carrots grow underground and the green stem grows above ground. And carrots come from the ground, so sometimes Miss Jill likes to just put a little bit of the black lines on the carrots too. Make sure that you always sign your name somewhere on your page. And Miss Jill made a bunny earlier today. I'll show you what he looks like all colored in. There's my bunny. You can make your, you can decorate maybe with a rainbow over your bunny or clouds or flowers, however you want to do your bunny and in your colors. Do you think you could make a bunny today? Keep one of the bunnies and Miss Jill will put it in your art portfolio 
and then maybe make another bunny that you could give to somebody. Maybe you could make a bunny out of sidewalk chalk, using sidewalk chalk outside. And you could do a bunny with your markers or oil pastels or whatever you have at home. But Miss Jill used crayons. 